Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here from Team Euphoric, and if you want to be able to do a one arm pull up, then you have to have strong and healthy shoulders, which is why today I'm going to be taking you through this external rotation progression to help you strengthen your rotator cuff and do a one arm pull up. Let's get started. This exercise is the Dumbbell Elbow and Front Scott Bench External Rotation, and we are going to need a Scott Bench or a Preacher Bench and a Dumbbell. And in terms of the setup position, we are going to be seated behind the bench with the elbow directly in front of the humerus or the shoulder blade. Then, from this position right over here, we want to make sure that the forearm is vertical. And then, in terms of the actual execution of the exercise itself, while maintaining retraction and depression of the scapula, so squeezing that shoulder blade together and bringing it down toward the butt, we are going to lower the dumbbell down toward the floor and then come back up. And that is the actual execution of the exercise itself. Now, we're going to go into a couple of common mistakes. Mistake number one is picking a weight that is too heavy, that you have to use your whole body and twist and use momentum to get the weight up. You want to make sure that you use a weight that is appropriate enough that it allows you to isolate the external rotators as much as possible. This is not a trunk exercise, it is an external rotation exercise. Then, mistake number two is when you do come up, you go too far out into external rotation. If you go too far out, what's going to happen is once you break per perpendicular to the ground, you're going to start to target more of the internal rotators and also it's going to place a lot of stress on the glenohumeral joint or the shoulder joint. So you want to make sure that you don't go past perpendicular to the ground. And then mistake number three is either straightening the arm too much or flexing the arm too much. You want to make sure that it remains perpendicular in every single direction. So forward it's perpendicular and sideways it's perpendicular to the ground. And that is going to allow us to get maximum recruitment of the external rotators. And then the final mistake is losing that retraction and depression of the scapula. We want to make sure that we don't shrug up with the shoulders. A lot of people, when they start getting really tired, they're going to tend to shrug up. And when you do shrug up, that's going to take away from the recruitment of the external rotators of the muscles. So you want to make sure that the entire time that scapula remains retracted and depressed, the forearm is perpendicular to the ground, and we are going into external rotation up until perpendicular to the ground. But that is the dumbbell elbow and front Scott bench external rotation. Thanks for hanging around until the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like the video and comment down in the comment section as it would really help out with the algorithm. And also share this video so we can help get this information out to as many people as possible. And also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the icon in the bottom right hand corner and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos. For those of you interested in health optimization, you can check out the video in the top right corner where I discuss the six foundation principles. And for those of you interested in optimizing your performance, then consider becoming a member. It's only $5 per month and you get a ton of perks including exclusive access to this program design lecture series playlist above my head.